In this video, I'm going to talk about your query list. Your query list is where you organize all your queries. It shows all the agents who you have queried or plan to query. It's really easy to add an agent to your query list just by going to the agent's profile page and checking the box that says add this agent to my query list. Then to get to your query list, click the queries menu button at the top of the page. The query list is set up just like the search page. It has a list of agents here and the search tools over here, except now you'll only see the agents who are in your query list. There are also a few extra columns here. The first is the date of the query or the date of the last activity for that query. For instance, if I logged a reply from this agent on February 11th, then that's the last thing I recorded for this agent, so that's the date that will be here. So remember, the date is the date of the last thing you did with this query. This column shows the age of the query in days. You can sort the table by either of these columns by clicking the column heading. And at the end of the table here are a few more extra columns. The first is a tool which lets you archive a query. This means you can take old queries and hide them from view, which helps keep your query list clean and uncluttered. So I can archive this rejection by clicking on the archive icon and choosing yes. And it disappears. If I do need to see it again, I can come over here to the sidebar and check view archived queries. And there it is. I can even unarchive it again by going back to the archive icon and saying no. And then to see it, I need to go back to the full query list. And this last column allows you to move a query from one project to another, just in case you placed it in the wrong project and need to fix it. Most of the search filters here are the same as the ones found on the main search page, but with a few additions. Here you can choose to view your Do Not Query list, in case you've changed your mind about one and need to update it. You can also filter your query list based on the status of the query. You can hide all the rejections, view the archive, which we already talked about, view outstanding queries. These are the queries you've sent out but have not yet received a reply. Outstanding submissions, which are submissions you've sent out but have not yet received a reply. Submission requests. This shows you all of the partial and full requests that you have received, but you have not yet replied. Then there's the agents in my query list who I have not yet queried, offers of representation, my rejections, and queries I have closed due to no response. There's also an additional tab up here, which has your query statistics in a pie chart. It shows your percentage of rejections and requests for queries, and down here for submissions. And that's a quick breakdown of the query list page. Thanks for watching.